Well, we couldn't have pulled this together without the help of others. And I, I owe a special debt of thanks to Brett Bozell and the Media Research Center Amen. made this possible. I don't know what his time is like. I know he's about to leave the country, but he's been here for this. I'm so grateful. So let's hear from Brent Bozell. Amen. All right. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Bishop. Uh, I, sh I should say that with everything being said about Margaret Sanger, it needs to be added that she was also anti-Catholic and a vicious anti-Catholic. So as a Catholic, I would like to say to you gentlemen, Welcome, my fellow waste. <laughs> I, I can't add much to what has been said uh, by Bishop Jackson because I think he said it everything. But let me just focus on a few things. First, I too want to thank Senator Cruz and Congressman Gohmert. And I want to add one thing. Of all the presidential candidates, and don't you forget this, of all the presidential candidates, the one who jumped immediately to help us was Senator Cruz. I don't want to forget that. I also want to say that when we, I read this letter last week that Bishop Jackson and these gentlemen wrote, I was stunned by its eloquence, its tenderness, and the pure love that was being shown. And then deeply stunned by how they were told, in effect, to go pound sand. That's when I called Bishop Jackson and I said, you know, this is our house. We own this building. They can't do that. So yes. let's go right in front of, their, of this building, our building, yes. and tell them what we want. This woman, you know, there's a lot of talk about the Confederate flag and what it represented. We're not talking about what Margaret Sanger represented. We're talking about who she was. The record is there. Planned Parenthood and others inside this building want to pretend that, well, we really don't know. We do know. She wrote books. She gave speeches. She wrote letters. She organized organizations like the Negro Project to eradicate blacks. Why? Because you weren't quite human. Uh, you were weeds. You were waste. And that couldn't stand in a fit society. Ladies and gentlemen, so did Goebbels. He thought the exact same thing and did the exact same thing through eugenics. Now, last night, in response to this meeting today, a spokesman for the Smithsonian said this. She talked about Margaret Sanger, and she said that this was honoring significant people, including some with, and this is a quote, less than admirable characteristics. Well, you've heard so many of those less than admirable characteristics. Let me add one. This is what she told Mike Wallace. I think the greatest sin in the world is bringing children into the world. This is what she wrote in her book. The most merciful thing that the large family does to one of the infant members is to kill it. And this is what she also said, we don't want the world to go out, that we want to exterminate the Negro population. This is the woman who spoke to the KKK openly and unabashedly. So I have a message for the Smithsonian. I have an idea. What if we were to do this? What if we were to take that bus down, but leave the stand, leave it standing there, let it quietly represent that hero, that man or that woman, we will never know because he and she was aborted, and the incredible accomplishment. And then let us take that bust, take it to a far off place, dig a deep, deep hole, put it inside, and apologize to the dirt. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brent. Thank you so much.